Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode 36 of Let's Play the Epic Gem Starfield. Hope you guys are doing well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Life is good, God is good here. Um, feeling good. Hope you guys are getting some of that love and positivity where you are as well. Mm. And I hope you're ready to join me to explore more of this uh, Bethesda offering. We're on Jemison, we're in New Atlantis. So if anyone was tired of Mars, we're now on New Atlantis for a while. Use output links to supply outpost builders with the resources they need to produce, right? Um, and we bought the first copy of the Dragon Star book for Mitch back on Sidonia, back on Mars. And we're going to continue exploring uh, New Atlantis today. We have a birthday gift to give to Logan here. Ever been to Sidonia? My brother works there. Um, do you like living here? Oh, sure. There's always tons of travel into New Atlantis, so there's no shortage of people to meet. I love talking with the new people and hearing about their journeys. Not to mention, it's also nice and safe. Unlike my brother's job. Right. Anything you'd recommend doing in New Atlantis? There's a huge tree in the Embassy District, across from the mass station. Trust me. It may sound dumb, but I think everyone should see it at least once when they're in the city. Mm. It's so cool. Oh, maybe I just love trees. You're very cute. Uh, special delivery from your brother for your birthday. What? Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I wasn't <laughs> expecting this since Chris can't visit this year. How's Chris doing? Is he okay? Uh, don't take my word for it, he wrote you a whole letter. You're right. I need to start trusting what he says more. It's just that he's so far away, and we don't know if he's okay. Oh, well, there I go again. I'll read his letter and see how he's doing. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing these to me. Here, take this for your trouble. 1,300 credits. Thank you. XP. Oh, new level. Have a good one. Level 8, baby. Nice, the top shelf. Whoa, that's worth a lot. A vodka gin and rum cocktail with a splash of sour and cola. No one's really looking. I'm grabbing that. The deep, wow. Grilled piece of alien salmon served alongside mixed vegetables and mashed potatoes. Welcome to Whetstone. If you're looking for the best cut of meat in the settled systems, look no further. What's a whetstone? The general term? A sharpening stone for knives. The kind of knives that cut the most delicious meat in the settled systems. This whetstone, though, is the best restaurant you've ever eaten at. If you like a perfect steak, you're in the right place. Does all your food come from local sources? <laughs> you must be joking. I have an exclusive contract with the Trade Authority. It's all shipped in from Offworld. And no, I'm not divulging the planet of origin. I have to see what's on the menu. But of course. Wow, you do have expensive stuff. 12% persuasion chance. Kodos Crater. <laughs> the Deep. The Rack. Smoked slab of ribs. Served with match, mashed potatoes and vegetables. The Strip. Seared strip steak. Served alongside mixed vegetables. And of the top shelf. Hmm. Uh, I will take... Um, 
some pineapple lemon. We have some of that. I know we have some of these Chandras. Or Chandras. Um, but they do give good benefits to persuasion. So we'll get a Pinot Noir. We'll just buy one while we're here. Buy ourselves 75 unique items. Wow, we're up to 19 already in that little mini quest. No book. All right. So that's another new Atlantis quest done. Valberg. Hmm, no one around. I should have grabbed it. Oh, wait. You trying to get us thrown into prison? <laughs> Cool sculpture, man. I need to have it. I don't know what Valberg is, but let's just get out of here. Grab this. Grab that. Never a dull day in the big city. That's for sure. Yeah. Nothing. Enhance. Oh, SSNN, the one and only. You just can't. I bet whoever came up with bad news travels fast wasn't taking interstellar distances into account. <laughs> Mr. Baron's a very busy and important man. But I came all this way. Hmm. Uh, listen, I might be able to hook you up with some merch. <laughs> Maybe get you a ticket to a speaking gig he's got. That's all I can do. You are the best! David's tell me amazing. You're not here to see and I hear he's single. Mm hmm? I will meet David. It's going to happen. David Barron is the most famous journalist in the settled systems. Uh. Hmm. If you ever find yourself with a hot lead, we will do our best to protect your anonymity. It's important that the people of the United Colonies can trust their primary news source. Indeed. It's all about trust as I think about yoinking these vases. <laughs> no one's around to see. I've got a slogan for our new ship class. It's like riding a cloud. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Clouds are slow. Wind. <laughs> Is that man? Oh, broadcast diagnostics. Oh, nothing to do there. I should grab these. They are unique items. Oh well. And what's your story? I've just got a feeling about you. Oh. You have a story to tell. It's Nadia. Let's talk to her. Welcome to SSNN, where the news never sleeps. If you're part of the David Baron fan club, try not to inflate his ego too much. He's liable to burst. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Sorry. Long day. Cutie. Longer night. <clears throat> How about a do-over? Let's take a look at you. You... You're not from around here. My guess is you work really work for a living i bet you have a story or two i have a feeling about such things um my life has gotten very weird and interesting lately sounds like an old pickup line <laughs> but it really has hasn't it i'm interested only in primary sources so things you've seen and are done that are newsworthy no hearsay so, what do you got for me? Huh. Deliver news about the Vectera mining attack. Find new stories for SSNN. Uh, how is it working for SSNN? 
We're short-staffed, overworked, and trying to report on a million things at once. Not to mention there's a constant battle with the powers that be to maintain our journalistic principles. So, things are just swell. <laughs> What's David Baron really like? Dear Lord, everyone wants to know about Baron. <sighs> he's a smart guy. He cares about what he's reporting. He's way too damn cozy with the UC, and that's a problem for us staying impartial. My biggest beef with him is he's credited with everything he reports, and he doesn't lift a finger to correct that impression. Um, what stories are you working on right now? I'm working on an investigative piece about some of the businesses in the well right now. Trying to get a handle on how things are in that part of the city. I'm not sure the story will get off the ground, though. <clears throat> I asked the higher-ups if I could go down there for some interviews, but they said it's too dangerous. It'd probably be all for it if David asked. Huh. You think anyone will read something like that? I wouldn't be writing it if I didn't. Most people in New Atlantis like to pretend the well doesn't exist. I think it's important to call attention to what's going on down there. I'd be willing to do the interviews for you. Really? You sure? The well's a pretty dangerous place. It might be too much for a first-time reporter. If I help you out, will you give me credit as co-author? Who do I look like? David Barron? <laughs> yeah, I'd give you credit for your work. Credits, too. I have a small budget for things like this. Consider it done. Great. I had three interviewees in mind. Teresa Mason, the owner of Kay's House, Henrik Zaran at Apex Electronics, and Nurse O'Shea from the Med Bay. You don't need to ask too many tough questions. I just want to read on how their businesses are doing and how things are in the well. I really can't thank you enough. One second, I'm not quite done with you, Nadia. If you've seen something interesting, let me know. The Crimson Fleet if it pans out into a full story, you'll be compensated. Attacked on Argos mining facility on Vectera. Looks like some Crimson Fleet brainiac figured out it's easier to hit stationary targets than dogfighting in the field. And... You are an eyewitness with the courtesy to find us instead of being chased down. Refreshing. So what were the pirates doing there? It's not their usual M.O. Tell them about the ore. That was quite a lucrative operation. Um... We were mining beryllium, iron, and some rare minerals. Easy credits for them. Rare minerals, you say? That would be worth the price of admission. So what's your role in all this? Part of a tour group? Um... I worked for Argos, now I'm with Constellation. Wow, an actual member of Constellation graces my office. Do we bow? Maybe smoke a pipe? <laughs> so we've covered the basics. How about any harrowing tales of daring do? How'd a bunch of miners triumph? Um... Actually, the mining crew banded together and fought them off with mining lasers. Huh. Sounds like a good outfit. The heroic miner is a good angle. This is a good local story. Plucky miners band together and punch above their weight. If you ever get more stories like this, drop by. And take this to cover any incidentals, or other creative ways to pad out an expense report. Cool. 650 credits, 50 XP. Awesome. And, and uh, we have to go to the well. I hear a nightclub. Head of the well, then, but let's look around first. Oh, well, that's Terra Brew Coffee. Where was the well? Let's um, make it our mission.
Oh, that's such a wonderful moment for the both of you. I promised myself I'm not going to cry, but who are we kidding? <laughs> Let's go. Spaceport, I guess. That's where the well is. During the war, we had these things called battle steps. I didn't fight in the war, mind you. I just used them recreationally. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, and it's military grade. So you know it's good. <laughs> How are things going? I got no complaints. Jemison hmm. Mercantile? What? Maybe. Get down to the well with the ele elevator. Let's explore around down here. Just looking for little secrets, maybe. playing stuff here. It's not where we need to be though, it's um, that's UC Surplus. Hello. From the beginning. Apex Electronics. Man, you would think something like that would have been changed by now. Someone should really bring it up with the powers that be. My partner and I have talked about transferring to the same division. It would allow us to spend more time together. Good for you. Hello, sir. No lawyering, okay? I don't have the patience for it. Henrik? Can't say I'll have what you need. But you're welcome to look. I'm with the SSNN. I'd like to ask some questions about your business. A reporter? Fine, but I'm only talking basics. I don't like people snooping around my business. Um, the problem is when they make it their entire personality. Will you tell me more about yourself? Name's Henrik. I own Apex Electronics. That's all I'm willing to say to some nosy reporter. How have things been in the well recently? How the hell do you think? Life's a mess down here. I'm not holding my breath for it to get any better. I'd like to know how things are going at Apex Electronics. Door's still open, isn't it? That's my idea of success. <laughs> Sorry if you were hoping for something more flowery. I think that should be enough to go on. Great. Now why don't you help me out and buy something? I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Uh, maybe some other time. Come down here. Jay's house. Kay's house. to see a fresh face around here. You stop in whenever you'd like. Everyone's welcome, so long as you keep your hands to yourself. Understand? Wow. I'm causing trouble in here. You're really pretty. No shortage of hungry mouths to feed around here. Keeps us on our toes. Nothing else? What's the story in this place? Mom, that's Kay, gets all the credit. Started making sure people felt welcome back when I was just a kid. She had one rule. No causing trouble. Everyone abided by it. Put their differences aside when they came through the door. 
After a few years of feeding so many mouths, we needed extra credits to stay afloat. Didn't mean for this to turn into a business, but here we are. If folks are willing to pay a little to have some place to feel safe and get a decent meal, well then, we'll sure take it. And with the SSNN, I'd like to ask you some questions about your business. Absolutely. I'm sure my mom would be proud to have the place featured in an article. What's up? Uh, will you tell me more about yourself? Yeah, sure thing. I'm Teresa Mason, and this is my home. My mom's the K who founded K's house. I grew up here along with the business. My mom passed the place on to me when she decided to retire. Running it is my pride and joy. I've put everything I have into it. Oh, how are things in the well? <sighs> Same as ever. I've lived in the well my whole life, and things have never really changed. The UC government promises to clean the place up every couple years, but there's still just as much crime and poverty as there was when I was a kid. That's why Kay's house is so important. It's the one place people in the well feel safe. Be sure to put that in the article, okay? I'm really proud of it. I'd like to know how things have been with your business lately. Business is steady, as usual. We don't tolerate violence or disrespect, so a lot of folks like to spend time here. The only thing that's worrying me is a new group of customers I've seen hanging around lately. They've been watching the UC Surplus store pretty closely. I have a bad feeling they might be planning something. Kay's house has a reputation as a safe place. I don't want to be associated with that kind of thing. I'd be happy to look into it for you. Honestly, I'd really appreciate that. I'd feel terrible if something happened and I hadn't done anything to try to stop it. Why don't you come by when you have some spare time? And we'll talk it out. Alrighty. Think there should be enough to go on? Great. Let me know when the article comes out, will you? I'd like to read it. Alright. Nurse O'Shea at the Med Bay. Sarah opened that. I didn't open that. <laughs> How are you doing? It's been a while since we had a chance to catch up. I'm doing pretty good. In fact, things have been going so Med Bay this way. Looks like the Med Bay. I've got limited resources. I try not to turn anyone away just because they're light on credits. We're doing the best we can here. That's all we can ever do. You run this place all by yourself? Don't have much of a choice. Can't afford to pay staff, and while I've got a few volunteers from the community, I can only ask so much of them. We've scraped by for a good long while now, and we'll continue to do so. Don't you worry. Strange place for a medical clinic, isn't it? Funny story about that. You know, when people first arrived on Jemison, they dismantled the colony ship and used the parts to establish a place to live. Over time, they built out, and up, and up, and after long enough, they started to forget about the people and the things still down here. Mm. The walls and the ceiling have changed, but this place still uses equipment from that old ship. And it's here because not everyone in New Atlantis can afford Reliant Medical. I see. With the SSNN? A journalist? That's a surprise. Most people don't think anything that goes on in the well is worth writing about. I'd be happy to help if I can. Can you tell me more, more about yourself? Sure, if you'd like. My name's Talia. I was born and raised right here in the well. I've been the nurse here at the Med Bay for over a decade now. Once upon a time, I was a combat medic for the UC Navy. When the colony war ended, I came back to the well to put my skills to use for the people here. How have things been in the well? Things are always the same in the well. Violent and dangerous. I swear I treat more injuries here than I did when I was a Navy medic. Hmm. How are things going at Med Bay? Things are always rough at the Med Bay. 
I'm the closest thing to a doctor that the well has, and I can't treat everyone. The last few weeks have been especially bad. There's some kind of infection going around, and a lot of kids down here are catching it. Oh boy. It just breaks my heart to see. I'd be happy to help you out with that. Oh, you're sweet to offer. There might be something you can do, if you're willing. Let's chat again when you have some time to spare, all right? Alrighty. I think there should be enough to go on. All right, dear. You let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Excuse me. <laughs> Return to Nadia. All right. Basically pays for itself. I think I'm gonna get one. Good for you. Neuroamp. Must be an implant of some sort. Hello. There are always about a million things to do. And I'm only one person. It's so overwhelming. Sorry to hear that. Hey! Oh, you're not Garl. Sorry. I shouldn't assume. Maybe you go by Garl. You're just not the Garl I was waiting for. We're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here. Oh, the brownouts. People have been reporting brownouts for a while. And Mass finally decided to follow up on it. I can't be in two places at once. And Carl isn't here. So I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. Uh, what exactly are you investigating? We're trying to isolate a power drain. Which looks like it's the result of a large amount of power being rerouted through various subsystems. But it's kind of a two-person job. Someone needs to find the junction boxes associated with those subsystems and power them down. The other person needs to monitor the system remotely. It's pretty simple, really, and relatively safe. Only a small chance of electrocution. <laughs> Who's Carl? Co-worker of mine on this assignment with me. Clearly not taking it seriously. Not really surprising. Most folks are fine with ignoring what goes on down here. I could assist you. Well, since you're here and Carl isn't, and I really want to get this solved, I will take you up on that. What I need is very technical. I can talk you through it remotely. I'm gonna head to the monitoring station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there. Okay. Let's see. see surplus huh. whoops Jake's door requires key As we head up here. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Child. Down this way. They are coming. <laughs> Little green aliens. Nice. I'm not gonna be stuck in this place for long. All I need is a grease, and I'll turn it into a break. You'll see. <laughs> um... You see surplus down here. First box. Wait, there's UC surplus. Alright, so the first box is down here. Um... Is that it? Hmm. Vending machine. Hey, can you hear me? I think this is working. Oh. I only have a general view of things, but you should be near the first junction box. Look for it mounted on the wall. When you find it, open it up and flip the big switch. That's it. Great job. So, cool. that trip to secondary breaker. Goes to. Oh wow, really? They wired it like that? Jeez, okay. Okay, got it. Next time 
Rex on his way down past Jake's. And maybe up a story or two? It's a bit of a hike. Sorry. Hmm. Way down past Jake's and up a story or two. Just everything, according to that poster. Dark logger. There's not even anyone back here. I'm uh, pretty sure you weren't supposed to take that. Smoke salmon fillet. Did you think I wouldn't notice? Oh wow. She took all my stuff for taking that. Or my last couple stolen items. She took my sculpture. Dang. Hey, there's Space Frog. Someone else... Uh, what's, what's her face? Must have put that up there. Yeah, there's another one. Okay, the box is over here, maybe? Um... Way down past Jake's and up a story or two. Is it in here somewhere? There's Amp. Hippolyta, a chem that lowers inhibitions and improves articulation. Ooh. 20% persuasion. We'll take the Amp too. Plus you go like the cat. Um a little mess over here. Panel door locked. Requires computer, requires computer. Hmm. Okay, this isn't the place. She took my sculpture, man. <laughs> Sleeping bag. Someone smokes them and another plushy galactic cat. See, they make that noise. I don't know if there's anything to that or what, but... I just stole some homeless person's galactic cat. I don't feel good about it. Don't feel good about it. Um... without anyone noticing. Gotta make some of that money back now. <laughs> Lockers. Ooh, cred sticks. Oh, they're not claimed? 168 creds, 171. Surgical tray, skin cream bottle. Pill bottle, digipick. That all belongs to people. This is Jake's. I'm not much for prayer. Tried it once, didn't stick. But maybe it's like Dave. I was just on the wrong side. Maybe. But I'm a little busy right now, sir. Door locked. Empty beer bottle. 
Yes, I check around the trash. The trash. Kay's house. Jake's was where. Everything good? We're here to help. I've been um. so tired of it. But I went to the clinic and they said. People joke. Gone. Say those maroon zealots worship a snake. Well, let me tell you, it ain't a snake. It's some kind of celestial being. They call it the Great Serpent. Is it you real? Know, there's nothing wrong with that. Or they lunch. think it is. Or dessert. That it's makes awful. them dangerous. Wow. The Great Serpent. Day, another shift. Interesting. Hmm. I found Jake's one time, but I don't remember where it was. Is it down this way? vacation <laughs> <Another end. laughs> I hear you that's a good staycation Jake's uh, yeah here we go here we're at Jake's Demos is going out of business Is this it? It's not it. Sehen und Neristan? Jake's, um... Maybe up this way to the upper level. Door requires a key. Yeah, it's got to be up here somewhere. Space, there it is. No? Door. Huh. Vacuum tape. Should start hearing her voice once we get close, I guess. Is that it? No. Through here? Weapon workbench. Huh. Guess we could check out the weapon workbench. Maybe make some modifications. We don't have aluminum on us right now. I mm, think that's all taken care of anyway. Can't do much with it. Could put a laser on this though. We're missing aluminum. Iron sights, reflex sight. Yeah, we don't have the ingredients right now for this. We put all our aluminum on a Mar or on the moon, I think. Which may have not been a great idea. Ooh. Slug shots. We need lead. Yeah, we put our lead on there too, I think, on the moon. We just need a weapon bench on the moon, basically, and do everything there. But let's um, make this quest active. 
Um, uh, we were close. Down after you. <laughs> uh. How do we get to it? Is the question. This isn't a door here. trouble earlier. There's no one up here, though. Yeah. Alright, you should be near the next junction box. This section isn't used very much these days, so it may be a little harder to see. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Next one's not too far. Dead end, right down from Jake's. Right under that apartment they've been trying to sell. Good luck with that, right? Huh. Oh. into Topher Uguo Gimbal, yeah, actually. Let's take Topher's key, 819 credits in a med pack. Huh, I don't even know what I'm doing in here. Grab this portable desk fan. Let's keep our guns drawn, though, shall we? I guess Big Bruno got him. There's a dinner plate. That's a nice dinner plate. Taking the valuable sun. Fine dining forks. Chunks pie. Uh, we'll consume that. Another nice dinner plate. Dish rag, that seems unique. Cheese. We'll eat the cheese. <laughs> Notebook, bowl, soap dispenser, we'll grab those. Ooh, desktop digiframe. Topher's inbox. Navigator pack. Nice. R plus. You know that doesn't belong to you, right? Well, you know the guy is kind of like not alive. 
So we'll put it to better use. Nice, 774 credits, drink back beer, and a space trucker hat. And uh, some door. It's quick saves. I think we've been playing. Yep, 45 minutes. We're going to wrap it here. So I want to say thank you for joining me, guys. Next time, we'll see what's behind this door. Uh, very cool stuff. We found this apartment. I guess they're trying to sell. I don't know. They didn't remove the body, and... I don't know. But, um, grab the mixing bowl because it's unique. Perhaps, possibly. I think, it, I think unique means sell one of each item, basically. Not that the items are unique themselves, but you've sold one of at least uh, every item. Could be that, I'm not sure. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're uh, digging the LP thus far. We are still just getting started. There's so much content. It's so awesome. Uh, thank you know. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the LP as a whole. Um, stay tuned for more. Do come back. More fun to be had. Be well. Live well. Stay well, guys. Much love, peace, and joy to all of you and more. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Come on back for more fun to be had. Bye bye.